Yeah, he's he's throwing live today uh, back here. We just decided to keep him back here. Um, I think, you know, just trying to be a little wise and probably slow player, higher leverage relievers as far as game action, just trying to be mindful of, you know, uh, all the all the things we talk about with our starting pitchers and innings and, you know, coming off of last season. Uh, I want to be mindful of that with our relievers as well. So there's a good chance we might hold some of those guys back and keep them in more controlled environments where with live BPs and things like that. We're doing that with Chad today. Really good. He's in, he's in great shape. Um, I've, I've loved the, you know, his live ABs, um, you know, a couple walks out of the shoot, which is very Aaron Hicks. Right. Um, but, but his work's been really good. Um, his defensive work, I've, I've kind of loved his competitiveness, um, in our, in some of our live BPs. Um, so I, I'm excited about where Aaron's at right now. I think body wise, he came in, you know, best shape of his life. Right. Um, but, but in a lot of ways he did, because I think he was training this winter as opposed to rehabbing. And, um, it, it to me, it, it showed right away when I saw him physically. I mean, he's really strong right now. He's really fit. Um, and, and I feel like <clears throat> has had a real focused start to camp. Hopefully the fact that he is in the kind of condition he's in, and again, being able to train for a season instead of rehabbing to get ready for a season, hopefully is something that pays dividends for him and allows him to be in a po better position to stay on the field. You know, I like him third and, right. you know, feel like, you know, just with his switch hit. <laughs> switch hitting capabilities, the ability to get on base, doesn't put the ball on the ground, which you like in the three hole. Um, uh, yeah, I kind of envision him in that slot. And, you know, we'll see. We'll adjust as we need to.